Let's start with the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find, of course, the NASSYNC DH4300 Plus itself, and we'll cover that here in a little bit. We also have a power cable, 2.5 gigabit ethernet cable, drive mounting screw. So we have two different bags here and they're gonna be different sizes as far as length and a quick start guide to get you started. Now there's a QR code where you can scan to get the full manual. Now the NAS itself has a sleek compact design with top loading NAS bays, which is a little different compared to the usual front loading designs. Now this makes drive swaps quicker and give the unit a cleaner look, at least in my opinion. Now in the front, you'll have the power button. You also have the LAN activity LED. You have hard drive indicators one through four, as well as a USB-C port. If you look up towards the top of the device, the middle top of the device, you'll see it does have the NFC logo. Now with this device, you can quickly scan with your phone, whether it's iOS or Android, the NFC tag, and you'll be able to quickly get into your application. Of course, we'll go over that here in a little bit. On the back of the device, you're gonna have 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, an HDMI output port, two USB a 3.2 ports as well as the power connector and a reset pin if you wanted to quickly reset your device. Now the fan on this device is positioned for quiet airflow and the whole unit feels sturdy with a minimal design that fits nicely in your home office or in your living room. And me personally, I can see this just sitting on top of my desk where it's easy to plug in a USB-C device or USB-A device and quickly have access through your NAS. So let's quickly talk about the hardware or what's actually under the hood. Now the DH4300 Plus runs the Rockchip RK3588C processor. Now the operating system lives on a dedicated 32 gig storage module so your storage bays are fully available for your data. 